The International Consumer Electronics Show, or CES, is one of the largest trade shows in the world. As the name implies, it focuses on consumer electronics of all kinds. CES is held once per year in Las Vegas in January and gives companies the opportunity to show off upcoming technology. This year, CES was host to 150,000 attendees, each clamoring for the newest and greatest gadget, and they were certainly delivered. In this episode of Tech Talk, I'll highlight some standouts from the show. Vizio has been incredibly successful selling good quality budget televisions, but at CES this year they announced a new direction, PCs. There are multiple choices of both laptop and all-in-one desktop computers available, along with a new 10-inch tablet to complement their current 8-inch offering. Their designs are fresh and exciting with a focus on aluminum construction. The PCs will also be free of bloatware, extra unnecessary programs that slow down your computer. Prices for these machines have yet to be announced, but Vizio assures us that they will be amazingly low. This could be great for students. Inexpensive, fast, and good quality laptops are generally difficult to find. These would be strong contenders, and a good alternative to Apple's ubiquitous, yet somewhat expensive offering. At the very least, it will drive competition in a relatively stagnant field of technology, which is good for everyone. Tablets held a significant amount of attention at CES as well. There was a wide variety available, but a few stuck out above the rest. Asus recently released the Transformer Prime, an incredibly powerful 10-inch tablet superseding the rest of the market in terms of sheer hardware might. It's been out about a month and has already been updated. Asus was demonstrating this updated model with a full HD screen at CES this year. Rounding out its specs are a quad-core processor, an 8-megapixel rear camera, and 32 or 64 gigabytes of storage. Lenovo released a competing model with similar specs but a slightly faster processor and four speakers. I'm not sure exactly how four speakers would work, but I like the innovation. On the cheaper side of things, Asus is releasing a small 7-inch tablet with the same internal hardware as the Transformer Prime. This is the same size as a Kindle Fire, but more than twice as powerful, for only $250. This is an astoundingly good price, and will warrant serious consideration for those looking for a budget price tablet. HD screens have finally become the standard. Many of you probably have HD monitors, laptops, and TVs at home or school. But HD will soon be out of date. Enter 4K and 8K. 4K screens and projectors have actually been around for a couple years, but have not been widely available. 4K pushes an impressive image with around four times the pixel count of HD content. 8K is even better with up to 17 times the pixel count of HD. That's a truly staggering resolution. At CES this year, Sharp showed off an 85-inch TV that can display 8K video. Apparently, it is an incredible sight to behold. Attendees described the TV as a far superior experience to 3D displays, despite the lack of depth. Google actually launched the Google TV platform a while ago, but it never seemed to interest anyone. For reasons unknown, this year's CES was chock full of smart televisions using Google TV. Sony, Samsung, LG, and Vizio all demonstrated Blu-ray players, set-top boxes, and even TVs with Google's technology built in. With such wide industry adoption, this could hail a new era of intelligent, connected TVs in your living room. The ExoDesk is a concept which seems as unattainable right now as 8K televisions, a giant touchscreen interface to replace your normal desk surface. But ExoPC assures us that the ExoDesk will be priced in the low $1,000 range, about as much as a low-end MacBook Pro. The possibilities for this hardware are almost endless. Anything you can do with a touchscreen, think your phone or tablet, you'll be able to do on the ExoDesk, and more. Add in Toby's new Gaze eye-tracking technology, and you'll have one of the most natural, feature-filled desktop experiences ever. CES is promising a lot. A revolution of tablets, TVs, and even your humble desk. And perhaps the best news is that many of these products are coming soon. Personally, I can't wait to see what the future brings. CES seems to think it'll be a bright one. Thanks for watching the first Tech Talk of 2012. Questions or comments go to techtalk at stuartmarlantis.com, and I would certainly appreciate them. See you next time.